Hello, welcome back. Today I would like to show you how you can jailbreak your iPhone, iPod or your iPad on 14.3 and I think this method also works on 14.4 as well so you can try it out and I have the iPhone SE in my hand here so the first generation iPhone SE and it is currently running on 14.3 so I can go to about and um, show you guys here now um, this method I'm gonna focus on for those of you that using Windows so uh, you don't need a Mac so you can jailbreak your phone with Windows and I have already made uh, some kind of this tutorial before but this is an update video for all of you guys so there are some files that you need to download on your PC so the first one you need to download Ubuntu and it allows you to run um, check run on your window and then you need to download um, Rofus. Rofus is a software that allows you to create bootable USB so which means you can run Ubuntu directly on your USB it doesn't affect a window so don't worry about it so all of the download link can be found in my video description so you can um, go click on that link in my video description and I have already downloaded all of those files so I can place it on my desktop I recommend you to use 16 GB USB so it works pretty well so 16 GB is enough and then you can plug in your USB into your computer after that you can double click on Rofus you need to run it as administrator then hit on yes then you're gonna see this page so all you have to do so you don't need to configure anything here just select on uh, just hit on select button And then you're gonna go to your desktop uh, because I have placed Ubuntu that I download uh, before. It is on my desktop and it is in .iso file. Just double click on that. And then you should be able to hit on start. And then hit on yes. And if you see this message, make sure you select on write in ISO image. But for me, I don't need to uh, proceed this process because I have already done it. So I'm going to hit on cancel. And after you have done all of that, you're going to see ready. So it may take some time to create bootable USB. So it is about um, 10 minutes um, as the, the ISO file is about 2 gigabytes. So it is pretty big. And after that, I can just hit on close. So as I told you, I have already created bootable USB before. That's why uh, I'm going to skip this step, but for you, you need to do it. Now I can go ahead and restart my PC. Just hit on uh, the power button and restart. As soon as your PC turn black and when it turn back on, make sure you hit on escape key multiple times in, in order to go to BIOS. But if you have different PC, like if you have Dell, you need to hit on delete key. And if you have Asus, um, you need to press on F2. So it is depend on the PC that you have. And you can find that information using Google. And then I can just um, go to F9 on my PC because I can uh, boot from my USB. So I can press on F9. And then um, this is my PC boot option. So if you have um, another kind of PC as I mentioned before, um, you may um, see the different screen. But um, it is the same thing. So I can just boot from the USB directly here. I can just boot directly. Hit on enter. And then you're going to see this screen. Now if it's so checking this, you need to hit on um, control C in order to skip it. So we don't need to check the file system. Just skip it. Control C. Now um, check is skip so you can see and then we can boot into Ubuntu much faster. Move on to the next step you're gonna see the welcome screen. So all you have to do hit on try Ubuntu. So we don't need to install it because it takes a ton of time. So just try it and then we should be able to run check run. Now we are on desktop of Ubuntu. So all you have to do first thing you need to connect to the Wi-Fi and then we're gonna download check run. And you're gonna see a little arrow down on the right corner on the top. Hit on that arrow down and make sure you go to Wi Fi. After that, you're gonna see um, select network. Hit on select network. And then you, you're gonna connect to your Wi Fi. And if you don't have Wi Fi, you can see it from your iPhone just like that. Now, Wi Fi is connected. So you're gonna go to Firefox. 
on the search bar you're gonna type check ran now we go to check ran so you're gonna click on get the beta now and hit on Linux then you're gonna scroll down and you're gonna see just download I'm gonna hit on download here and you're gonna download for Linux um, 86 and 64 just uh, hit on that button and now it is pop up so save the file and it is downloading right now and it is finished I can go to the folder and I'm gonna move it to the desktop so it is easier I can just hold on check ran and drag and drop to desktop now we're gonna close um, everything on the screen here and here we go we have check ran on desktop in order to run it you're gonna go to terminal hit on the show applications and you're gonna search for terminal now we open terminal so I'm gonna type CD space desktop so this should be capital line hit on enter and then you're gonna type CAMOD plus H space and then you're gonna type check ran and after that you're gonna type sudo space dot slash check ran hit on enter and then you're gonna see pop uh, you're gonna see check ran pop up so now you're gonna connect your phone into um, your computer and it is very important make sure you hit on trust if you see um, the pop up on your phone hit on trust just like that and then I'm gonna um, hit on um, this one um, this message I can hit on try again and now you can see um, my phone is recognized by my computer so it is on 14.3 the iPhone SE now I can just use my arrow left or right to move the um, button now I can go to option then I'm gonna check on allow untrusted iOS version and I can just go back and now we can hit on start um, hit on next now my phone is entering recovery mode so um, it takes some time so just wait a little bit before I start the jailbreak process I want to mention that if you have different iPhone um, you're gonna follow um, different steps so for me um, the iPhone with the home button uh, first I can just hold um, the power button and the home button for five seconds and then I can release the power button but keep holding the home button for about 10 seconds and then it should be able to jailbreak but if you have the iPhone 8 you're gonna use the side button plus um, volume down button and then you can release the side button but keep holding the volume down button and I want to mention that if you have the iPhone 8 um, you may need to disable a passcode because um, in, in jailbroken mode it doesn't support passcode so now I'm gonna begin the jailbreak process I can hit on start you can see I can keep holding the home button and until I see the white screen I'm gonna release it so you can see so I can release the home button and it is booting now um, we're gonna see check ran just like that now everything is done so I can um, unplug my phone let's go back to the home screen and then you're gonna see check ran but if it doesn't pop up yet you can wait a little bit now check ran is pop up I can just go to check ran here and then it should be able to install side idea hit on side idea here um, one more thing so make sure your phone is connected to Wi-Fi then hit on install side here it is completely done and then you can see side here on my home screen and it is fully working so if I scroll all the way down you're gonna see I have uh, 14.3 so so you can see here side here is fully working and again thanks for watching I hope this video will help you and then I will see you guys in the next one